the A album. A for Anderson, not A for Anarchy or any of the other conspiracy theories that went around at the time. Now this was uh, originally going to be a solo album, A for Anderson, and somewhere along the line it got turned into a band album. But uh, that story is left for another time. In fact, fully explained, I think, if I recall, doing interviews and discussing this in the box set, which I'm about to unveil here. The new Jethro Tull A album, commemorative 40th anniversary edition. This, is, this has actually got a, a, an incredible booklet. Lots of people have uh, helped put this together. It, it consists of lots of interviews from various people over the years. and. It's, it's, it's virtually a paperback novel in here, the story of making the album and all the other bits that go with it. Um, lots of things here from uh, contributions from Martin Barr, Dave Pegg, Eddie Jobson, of course, uh, remixed uh, and beautifully mastered by Stephen Wilson, who's done a huge amount of fantastic work for Jethro Tull over the years. Mark Cranny was interviewed by Don Perry, the drummer, back in 1989. Stephen interview, Stephen interview, Stephen Wilson is interviewed too. And um, David Mallett, who was the director of the accompanying Slipstream video at the time, is also uh, featured in this. So it, it consists of the original album plus associated tracks, things that were different, uh, different takes, different versions, different arrangements recorded around the same time. And there are two uh, live performances of the album plus other stuff which um, were recorded at the LA Sports Arena in 1980 and uh, so that's spread across uh, uh, two uh, audio CDs which are again Stephen Wilson's stereo remixes of those performances and uh, there are three DVDs, two of them audio only, which are the surround sound versions of the live concert of the A album at the LA Sports Arena, and indeed the, uh, the, the full video version of Slipstream, um, which uh, again Stephen has remixed the, the audio for that. And it's, it's all, well I mean it's a tremendous thing. Uh, I always had a soft spot for the A album because it had some very complex music on it some pretty complex musical ideas, um, partly as a result of Mark Cranny, the drummer, and Eddie Jobson, keyboard player, guest on the album. He, he brought a lot to the table in terms of uh, performance abilities and, and sensibilities, which, which the rest of us had to try to match. We had to, we had to step up our performances um, to kind of stay with the, the musical excellence of the, the drummer and the keyboard player. <laughs> But that's always a good thing, someone to put you on your toes and make you perhaps uh, do things that you wouldn't have uh, found easy to do or had the energy to do. But we have um, you know, a, great, a great section of photographs of, of the different uh, musicians here and different contributions. And we have lots of, lots of elements, I think, that make this a, probably one of the most complex and interesting box sets that we've had. There is Stephen Wilson looking uh, like he always looks. Yes, he does. And we, we're looking forward to having this out in the marketplace very, very soon. Hope that you get a chance to hear it. And it is um, referred to as Jethro Tal A. A la mode. The very stylish Jethro Tal wearing um, white parachute silk jumpsuits that were. seemed like a good idea at the time, this uh, stage wear. Um, Eddie and, and the other guys decided wisely, as it turned out, to revert to um, non-see-through versions of the, of the white parachute jumpsuits. I was the only one foolish enough to go out there, only to find out, of course, that as soon as I started sweating, they became completely transparent. So it wasn't, a, it wasn't something for the faint-hearted to come to a Jethro Tull concert in 1980. Um, I mean, frankly, you could see what I had for lunch. It was, it was not good. But uh, we, 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 we're, we're very pleased with the end result and thank you to all the members, past members of the band and, and uh, the, uh, the great work done by Tim Chaxfield at, at Warner Music in putting all this together and assembling the multitude of, of contributions. And me, I've got my copy now. I just unpacked it. 
trouble is, because I play quite a lot of this music from time to time, I don't need to listen to it. So it will just go into the bookshelf with all the other DVDs, box sets, CDs and stuff. But I dare say you'll be desperate to get your own copy and you can find out how by going to the Jethro Tull website, jethrotull.com. Thanks for being with me and uh, we hope to see you soon. Maybe sooner than we might have done if things go to plan uh, in this easing of lockdown that we, we hope to be back on the road in Europe and, and in the UK for a tour in September. So fingers crossed all of this can go ahead and we'll be seeing you before too long. Take care. In the meantime, take extra care. Ian Anderson, Jethro Tell, saying so long. Finally.